playing my Endel 8 Studios. I have been following the development of this game for some time now, and I am so excited to start playing it. Book of Travels is a beautiful role-playing game, completely hand-painted in watercolor. It is designed to be a more relaxed take on popular MMORPGs. With no main chosen one storyline quest line to follow, each player can write their own story in this gorgeous open concept world. The multiplayer aspect has a twist as well. This is actually a tiny multiplayer game. Meeting other players is a rare occurrence, but an important one. Many quests and tasks cannot be completed without several people working together. As I learned about this game, I decided I wanted to support Might and Delight Studios, an indie production company actually, and help them promote this game through content creation and playthrough videos. Book of Travels is still in early access. It is available now on Steam, but Might and Delight are still working on new aspects of the game that will be released throughout the next few years before a full release once the game is finished. I am very excited to support Might and Delight and help them in this step of their journey of developing this beautiful game. So, we're going to jump straight into the character creation. Um, I'm going to do a quick overview of the different steps involved in creating a character, and then I'm going to cut to my final decision because I'm notorious for taking several hours to create characters, and I don't want to have to put y'all through that. So we're going to take a few minutes to go through all the options, and then I'll show you what I've decided at the end. So here we have the general form, which is a take on uh, different classes. We have the gleaner, the good word, the dimmed, the veiled, the murther, the crested, the weatherer, the moss walker, the enfolder, which I really like that one, the reagent, the lurker, the ribboned, and then we're back to the green. So each of these different forms has certain talents and a wind affinity. Um, wind affinity, every person has a connection to one of the great four winds. Um, affinity makes the cost of skills of that wind less, meaning you need fewer skill points to learn it. So depending on which wind a skill is associated with, then each form has a wind that they are connected to, which makes it easier to do those skills. Um, and then the talents, this one is social and spiritual, mechanical and physical, spiritual and mechanical. So those are talents you start out with a little bit of a buff on. We have background. Um, so you can roll or flip through. See, this is kind of gives you a basic concept to start with. Rural upbringing small town upbringing, big urban, crafts, mystical, unknown, illegal, naval, mountain, islander, highborn, or religious, enslaved, and back to rural. So you can take those general concepts um, to start as a background for your character. You can manually enter the age of your character and choose which gender you like. And then you can write a background story. And I believe if you don't have a background story now during your character creation, you can go back and fill this in later. So we'll just fill these in so we can skip to the next. Personality. Um, you ha I think you have to pick two good traits and one bad trait for your character to keep them balanced um, and to again give you kind of a starting place for their personality and each of these has a description of them and a lot of these um, a lot of these traits do affect gameplay some of them 
do have a note that the gameplay effect is not yet implemented, um, but most of them do have an effect on the game. Um, like, I watched a video from someone else, and they chose dyslexic, and it does affect how things are spelled, which I thought was amazing. I'm not dyslexic enough to be able to read that, but I am really glad they put that in there. That's really cool. Um, so we'll just, just go back to this. Um, and then you can enter manual things for, for your story. You can hit next and go to skills. Um, the magic system in Book of Travels is based on tea brewing and tying knots. Tea brewing gives you um, like a, a, a buff or, or an advantage for a certain amount of time. And then knots are like spells, I guess. You tie a knot and you're able to do an ability. Um, and then there's skills. There's passives. Um, skills have different... Um, whether they are abilities or passive or action or talents. Um, they have a lot of different classifications. And then you have social, physical, spiritual, and mechanic is your basic talents. And up here in the starting skills, I think it's depending on your form. You're given the option to choose one starting skill. I th and you can kind of pick back and forth, but you can only pick one. So we will, and I think with these, you're allowed to also put a, an extra point on one of these skills, but only on. So we will do that and go to appearance. The different eye colors actually donate different uh, parts of the personality as well. Um, they have different uh, descriptions depending on your eye color, which is so cool. And then you can choose your voice. Um, these all have samples. Um, and I don't know how often in the game then your character uses uh, their voice for that audio track would be used, but that's really cool that you can choose how your character sounds. And again, uh, uh, an additional area for you to uh, write your own story. Equipment. When you, uh, you can have starting equipment and you actually have to roll for it. Um, so it is random. So if we roll, then uh, it starts with our backpack and then starts with a little bit of um, possible clothing. Um, and you can store, I think, up to two or three um, sets. If you find one you like, but you still kind of want to roll more, um, you can do that. Um, I personally am going to try to roll for something that has a a light or a weapon because um, from what I've learned it can be very important to have a light source um, so you can just keep flipping through these until you find something that you like and if we go to next then it is a name and like a lot of roleplay games you can't actually type in your own name because the developers wanted to keep all of the names in a similar aesthetic to to keep you immersed in the world um so again you can roll for the name that you want and you can store those as well if you find a few that you like so there is first name and then there is family name and you can enter a nickname if you have a name that you use or just um you know, that you can have a default character name. You can enter a nickname, but I don't believe that nickname is visible to other players. Um, so that is everything in the character creation. Uh, I am going to go back and create my character. And then I will walk you through the choices that I've made so that you don't have to spend hours and hours watching me be indecisive. All right, so I have taken plenty of time to create my character. I did choose the enfolder. I'm not sure why this block of color is here, but the description of the enfolder is serve and shine with strength and kind. My affinity is with the Southwind and not a 
Talents are mechanical and physical. My background, um, I chose Lost Memories. Even before I started this character, I've been thinking some ideas for a character and Lost Memories fit very well. Um, and I have written a little bit of backstory. I am a writer, so I am very much looking forward to this. This is written in first person from my character. I cannot remember where I came from. I have been to many places and learned many things, but I can never quite recall my early years. I must have fallen somewhere, but I am starting to wonder if I will ever find it. She is 34 and she is a woman. We have personality traits. I chose tough, contemplative, and stiff. Contemplative, you devote yourself to intellectual and spiritual meditation. You gain knowledge from losing a life pedal in combat. Tough. You have a rare ability to tolerate adverse conditions without flagging. You have slightly more energy than Cohen folk. Stiff. Your body needs time to warm up before reaching full capacity. Running ramps up instead of being instant, which I identify with on a personal level because of my own physical limitations. And her backstory here. The years have not always been kind to me. My body is not as young as it could be, and I have made my fair share of mistakes. It has been through many airs that I have learned to look and listen and learn what I can from the situation. Starting skills, um, every time I go to this page, I have to select the skill card that I want to start with. Um, it keeps deselecting it when I change tabs. Um, so I am starting with a read strengths, allows you to sense the warrant and force of others. So I believe this is like a knot or a, a skill I have. It does cost reagents, but I believe I can, I can do this ability and it will tell me that the ward is the defense of another uh, person and the force is, is like their strength in combat. So I think that's a very good starting skill. And then I put my extra, I put my extra uh, skill point in, um, in mechanics. Next we have appearance and I chose voice A and a deep jade eye color. You are totally committed to living a supportive and adaptive life. And she says about herself, almost everywhere I go, people say my eyes mean something. Their color, the way they are set in my face. I have tried to look at myself and see what they see, but I don't understand. How can a person's eye color mean something about them? Equipment. I did sit here for a long time and rolled for what I wanted. I do have a light source, gloves and a cape, and I have plenty of food. And this is a night blanket. Um, it will keep me warm at night, um, so I believe that's going to uh, help me uh, in, in the general gameplay. And her name is Ria Varial. And I'm not going to bother with anything. I like her. So, here we go. We are going to jump right in, and I cannot express how excited I am. How did your journey begin? I cannot Ooh, I can choose between them. So. I have to write this down so I can remember it. Remember, I think we will choose the north. So excited. Here we go. Starting troubles. Alright, we are going to select our character and enter the world. Bat Saha is an island retreating outpost for the Warden's Union. X, some say deliberately turn a blind eye. Probably text that hasn't quite been finished. The traders that lent you passage are cheerful. Their spirits lifted by favorable winds. They call it the sleeping sea, and it has slumbered as it should. 
But names are nothing to wind. And winds will blow as they please. A storm throws itself over your vessel, shredding canvas and splintering timber. Your hopes and dreams vanish in a desperate struggle for survival. blossoms into blinding light. They say that to survive a shipwreck is to be reborn. The sound of pattering paws is unfamiliar, and the voice that calls behind it speaks to you in an unknown Samram? Hello? Song? Okay. That's nice. So this is our gaming interface. We have our emotes down here because in this game with the multiplayer aspect, um, you can't type to other players, you can only use emotes. Um, and then we have our character sheet here with the level. Oh my goodness, I started out with so much experience already. That's interesting. My backpack. My backpack is over. Skill card. So apparently when you start out with a skill card, you have to run it. Are you sure you want to run it? Okay, so I've seen other people when they have their skill points, they have to activate them on the menu. So I don't want to leave them in my but I don't want to put them in my these are just other actions I guess down here. Reagents are things that I can pick up and use for things like knots. And then there is a plus here, so I can actually zoom in on the character if I want to play closer and zoom out. Goodness, I still think that that's fun. That's interesting. That's a really good one. Um, okay. Alright, so this is the whole thing of this braided shore, but this area right here is the only area that we have access to right now. All of this will, these are divided up into different sections and they will be released. In different um, different waves of updates throughout the next couple of years. This is so cool. So I remember La Basaha, which is an island. Ooh. Screenshot. Don't need to do that. Just, just gonna leave these as they are. So keep that up. I want to change anything. These are things that my energy of stamina and my battle seconds here. The quicker as the burden of weapons does not weigh you down, so I don't have a weapon even though I have a light 
battered and bruised, so you have suffered hardships and misfortune and you need attention. I have always need attention. Tired, you are worn out and feel an urge to rest. Your energy is draining faster and your movement is slow. Okay, so those are like active, uh, just things that are going on. Um, there are tutorials up here. I am not going to tell those to go away because I want to read through them, but I probably will not do so um, while recording. Um, but I will read the tutorials. So this is a click to open our... Yeah, not W-A-S-N-D. Oh, those are apparently shortcuts. It is a click. So, so if I go over to this person, this is probably the person who's wandering. I can talk to them. Blessed winds, what happened to you? I have heard rumors of a pirate ship spotted off the form. Is that the is that the cause of the strategy? Okay, I'm also an editor and that is a typo. Is that the cause of the strategy tragedy? I am sorry to say I don't possess any craft nor remedy to restore your health. You'd best head for the local tea house and have yourself looked after. Just head northeast from here up to Batsaha. Okay, northeast. I'm sure the tea house keeper will be hospitable. None of us islanders enjoy seeing fellow folk be the victims of bandits, be it on land or on sea. This will make this. Seems like when you start out, um, almost any place you are or NPC you find, they will direct you to the nearest tea house because I think all the starting uh, options, you kind of need some tea and need to find a place to go. I've just noticed that. And, um, there's always stuff to click on. This looks interesting. Oh, these children's cheap spotting child. Can I click on this? What is this? This looks like a thing. It's not. Okay. We're going east, so it's close enough to northeast. Can I speak to the little child? Hello. Hey there, tall one. Oh, that is me. I'm tall. Can you see any ships out to sea? We spot ships and draw them and draw them in our ship spotting book. I wonder if I should take screenshots of these typos so that I can submit them to the studio. Excuse me, sir, I want to talk to you. We have spotted 12 different ships so far. We also mark how many times we've seen each ship. It's great fun. I'm happy for you. Oh, and I'm talking to people. Oh, yeah, all that yellow went away. So when you talk to people, it gives you it gives you know like experience just by talking to people, and that's what works on your. It's called a knowledge level, not necessarily like a, a character level. This game is so I've waited so long to play this game. Well, this is east, so we'll just keep going in a vaguely easterly direction. <laughs> so, I can click on this and I should harvest it. Alright. So that is Whispering Orchid. So those are reagents. Those don't actually take up inventory space. Um, those go in my, like, reagents pouch, which I can use uh, as ingredients for knots. Where's my mythical thing? So I'm here. Oh, the dandelion temple! Have to go there. And apparently you can place notes on the uh, 
So I think so if I want to say there's So I'll make a note there and to remember that that's where I it's gonna be amazing for like uh like quest notes and stuff like that. Um, because there's no quest log. Um, there's no uh way to just like access any current quests or whatever that. Um, so either make notes on the map. Or keep a notebook with you, kind of, I guess. Um, or don't remember stuff and just, you know, figure stuff out as you go. Is this, is this one of those like, little shrines? It's not this one. Suffer great and wish. Are there people here? Can I talk to these creatures? Use my despair. Don't send my soul below the waves. Are these just little things that people can put there? Can I not put them on my desk? Can I just walk through? I want to look at this. Interesting. I think it's a little shrine. But I don't know how to interact with it. <gasps> what is that? Look at that in the background. It's like a giant. It's across the, the water. Where is it? Oh, this is like a teeny tiny um island. Okay, so what am I looking at? Water. Hmm. Something like far bridge. Oh, it's like a ruins or something. The road. Okay, I'll just follow the road. The the simplicity of how it's everything is painted in the trees is so beautiful. It's a one one of the main things about this game. It's just how it's what is it? It's a doggo! You can pet animals like any animal you find you can pet them. It's a doggo! Mr. Doggo! I don't know what he just chilling there, but he chilling. We're living pretty close to that village. Yeah, there are people here. Welcome to Warden. Can I speak up to you? Hi. Come back when you are overburdened with riches, Kitty. I will offer you skills of good prices to a fault. I hereby invite you, however, to teach you for free the lesson of defeat. I have a sword for you. Oh, girl, you're so wonderful. Collective strength. <gasps> Is this another person? Driven as part of a group because this is a human. Oh my goodness, that's an actual person. That's a person. Can we hide? Where are my notes? Where are my notes? It's a human. His name is Nick. Hi, this is gonna be funny. <gasps> take all. No idea what's in there. I'm going to take it. There's like a gob of stuff. And the other players have the little emotes over their head where they're interacting with stuff. That is so cool. I already met a human. It's just fun. Hey, emote. It's a high emote. Hi, human. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. <laughs> There are humans here, I should, I should talk to you guys here. Oh my goodness, I already met my first player. That's so awesome. 
As in the mountain, mountain with no top. Okay, what's right now? What is this? Okay, so I have stuff in my backpack now. Oh my goodness, I found so much stuff. Illegal crescent. Is this a weapon? Dog on, these are a bunch of weapons. Armor. I got armor. You have equipped something you are not proficient with, you will not get all of its benefits. Trade value one forty one. Oh my goodness. Um, so three ward and one burden. Um, Otter's apprentices earn. It's food main hand. So this is two force one ward. Oh my man, that one's heavy. I want to get rid of that. Trade value one fifty. Ward, but these are heavy, dang. So the burden is how heavy it is, and then ward is how much defense it gives you, and then with this, then um, force is how much strength it is, and then it still also has defense. Can I wear these? Oh, wait. They are, they got so much stuff. I'll be wearing... No, stop. Trade value. But the burden is really heavy on that one. Okay, I'm just gonna get in this one. I have to organize my inventory. So, so that one's heavy, but this one is not, and I don't need all of these. So can I hold it? Oh my goodness. Okay, so all of these I can sell. I don't need this stuff, and it's heavy. Goodness. Just so much stuff. I don't have a weapon yet. That's cool. The voice. If Sephra are impossible entities, then what then are we? Okay. Stranded travel. What is stranded? Travel. Would you know how to get to Casa these days? My family and I have been stuck here for weeks. The ferries to Casa are suspended and even the private skippers appear too busy or unsympathetic to our cause. I don't know anything to describe it. Oh, that's that that's that player. I'm not meaning to follow him, but he's doing a bunch of stuff too. Foreign pitch up on Oh, I'm seeing the foreign pitch up stuff. What's it? Streetwise youth. Hello. Lacking weapon proficiency. You are using equipment without proper training. You will not enjoy its full benefits. Okay, so I need to train with this stuff. But at least I have some. Talk to this person? How are you? There's a thousand ways to get rich in Batsaha, as the saying goes, Khalid. No way, someone fresh off the boat like you can see all the angles. But don't worry. Me and the gang can help you out with that. See? First, you got to be able to see what customer is a hard case to avoid and who is a potential sucker. Okay, you are probably a thief. That takes experience, I guess. Not something that can be taught. You just have to live the life, I guess. But to sell dearly and trade in for cheap is at the core of making it rich. The trick is to sell to folk who can't tell when they're being suckered. There is also pinch and puddle, which might suit a wandering type like yourself. The gang does a lot of that, collecting all manner of stuff, dropped, unattached, carelessly unguarded. We pinch it, and we sell it off in a flash for valuables that can't be recognized. I bet you find all manner of things on your journey that you and us Another Batsaha saying goes, anything is worth something to someone in Batsaha. Now you'll have to excuse me. 
I have to check in. I have to check up on the littlest ones and make sure they have not gotten themselves into much trouble. Whistle if you need another pointer. Okay, well, I wasn't interested in becoming a thief, but thanks. And then we got more stuff. Okay, that's interesting. Disguised trouble. Oh, that's cool. With the other player, you can actually, like, and he takes out something to look at. You can actually see him looking at a, uh, at like a book or something. That's so cool. What's this? What's he? Disheartened apprentice mystic. Aw. Why are you disheartened, honey? Nervous adventurer. Adventure. Ambitious adventure. House Yihan Baronite. Busy tea house post. The titles are so cute. Let's check in. Just in case, what is this? Oh. Well met, Wanderer. I am a merchant baronet of the glorious house of Yihan. I am looking for a courier that can take a much needed machine part to my housemistress at Mir. Are you headed are you heading in that direction? The house of Yihan will reward you for your trouble. Shh. Sure. Which cog can I Many things. Okay, so now I need to write that down. Remember. So in that Sahar, the Ehan person. Oops. Come up here. Oh, the other guy left. Take machine art to. Mistress in. I think Amir is one of the biggest towns. And just to get in a habit, can I. Okay, I just want to get in the habit of doing that. Busy tea house. I don't, I don't, no, I don't think you have to pay for tea at the tea house, which is really weird. Okay, so I'm talking to you. Please deliver the machine part to Baronet Yihan Gisela. Currently super raising maintenance of a broken down ship in Mir. You will probably only find her there during the day. The highborn has a thing against working at night. If you did not know, safe travels. I know what that means. Compassion team. Oh, what is the team? I don't know. I'm afraid to know. Oh, he's back there. Ancestor's beard, nomad. What happened to you, bandits? Some wind whipped thing from beyond? No matter. Let me tend to your wounds and what's left of your garment. I'll stir up something hot and nourishing for you. And that needs an apostrophe. We'll get you into some dry clothes. I've kept some shifts and shirts left behind by my outflown children. Don't worry. You will be right as summer rain soon enough. Oh, and welcome to the Elden Archer's Tea House and the Island of Hot Sahar. You'll find us islanders make just a little bit less sense than the maidenters. Okay, can, can I get this? <gasps> I want to get my thing. Okay, thank you. And now I have more stuff. More food. Okay, I have the cog and the shirt. Oh, is this my speed? Maybe I want this instead. But I think I still want to keep that.
Well, I think I'm going to end this video here because I think it's already getting kind of long. And we'll just figure out what we're going to do as we go along. I just don't have any plans aside from just making content of my first playthrough. Um, but I think this video is already going to be uh, a bit long, depending on how I edit it. So I'm just going to stop here, and uh, I will see you next time, and we'll figure out what we're going to do next in Book of Travels. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you stick around um, and consider getting the game yourself and supporting Might and Delayed Studios along with me. Bye-bye!